For a decade, the country's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative has been a prominent lever of its trade and foreign policies. By funding major infrastructure projects around the world, Beijing can help its own companies on the one hand and improve relations with countries far and wide on the other. Well, it turns out the costs have been steeper than expected. A new study now shows that many of China's loans have fared badly, putting not just borrowers in danger, but also Chinese banks. Another country is opening its doors to China. This time it's Honduras, which could join China's multi-billion dollar infrastructure program, the Belt and Road Initiative. But there's more to the mega project than a quick path to investment. Many Belt and Road participants have been struggling to pay back billions in loans, forcing Beijing to bail out debtors to save its own banking system, which lent them the cash in the first place. China spent $240 billion to bail out Belt and Road countries between 2008 and 2021. Almost 80 percent of the rescue loans were issued between 2016 and 2021. Argentina received the most, with $111.8 billion, followed by Pakistan and Egypt. Nine countries received less than $1 billion. Critics have long accused China of luring developing countries into so-called debt traps by offering large amounts of loans. The study shows that the Chinese bailout loans remain small, but are growing rapidly. Beijing, on the other hand, rejects these accusations. It insists those loans are purely a part of transparent investment projects. China has carried out investment and financing cooperation with developing countries based on openness and transparency. China respects market laws, international rules and the will of relevant countries. China has never forced any country to borrow money or to pay, won't attach political conditions to loans and doesn't seek political gains. According to the study, in 2010, less than 5 percent of China's overseas loans were extended to the countries in debt distress. In 2022, that figure had soared to 60 percent. The study reveals that the loans are drifting away from funding actual infrastructure investments. They are instead moving towards covering their losses. One seen as a highway to increasing economic dominance by China, the Belt and Road Initiative is increasingly proving to be a rocky road for Beijing's banks and the countries it promised to help.